why don't we have supersonic airliners anymore? The legendary Concorde, flying from 1976 to 2003, showcased the thrill of supersonic air travel. While challenges like fuel efficiency and sonic booms led to its retirement, the dream of supersonic flight persists. Exciting new projects like Boom Supersonics Overture and Arian's AS2 promise faster, quieter and more sustainable supersonic travel. Sonic booms occur when an aircraft exceeds the speed of sound, creating a shockwave that propagates as a loud, thunder-like noise. This sonic boom can cause significant noise disturbance and even structural damage, significantly restricting overland supersonic flight for the Concorde. Today, innovative companies are pushing the boundaries of aviation with their ambitious projects. These next-generation aircraft are being designed with a focus on sustainability and passenger comfort, aiming to address the limitations of the Concorde, including the challenges of sonic booms. With advancements in technology and a renewed focus on environmental responsibility, the dream of affordable and accessible supersonic travel may soon become a reality. So what do you think? Should the government have kept Concorde flying? 